Okay, we're going to skip ahead a few pages to page 205. We're going to start near the bottom of page 205 around line 499 with hearing that. Hearing that, the storm-tossed man secured the lid straight away. He battened it fast with a swift, intricate knot the Lady Circe had taught him long ago, and the housekeeper invited him at once to climb into the bathing, waiting into a waiting tub, and bathe. A hot, steaming bath! What a welcome sight to Odysseus's eyes! He'd been a stranger to comfort such as these since he left the lovely-haired Calypso's home. Yet all those years he enjoyed such comforts there, never ending, as if he were a god. And now when maids had washed him, rubbed him down with oil, and drawn warm fleece and a shirt around his shoulders, he stepped from the bath to join the nobles at their wine. And there stood Nausicaa as he passed. Beside a column that propped the sturdy roof, she paused, endowed by the gods with all her beauty, gazing at Odysseus right before her eyes, wonderstruck. She hailed her guest with a winning flight of words. Farewell, my friend, and when you are at home, home in your own land, remember me at times. Mainly to me you owe the gift of life. Odysseus rose to the moment deftly, gently. Nausicaa, daughter of generous King Alcinous, may Zeus the Thunderer, Hera's husband, grant it so. But I travel home and see the dawn of my return. Even at home I'll pray to you as a deathless goddess all my days to come. You saved my life, dear girl. And he went and took his seat beside the king. By now they were serving out the portions, mixing wine, and the herald soon approached, leading the faithful bard Demodocus, prized by all the people, seated him in a chair amid the fe feasters, leaning it against a central column. Out at once, alert Odysseus carved a strip of loin, rich and crisp with fat from the white-tusked boar that still had much meat left, and called the herald over. Here, herald, take this choice cut to Demodocus, so he can eat his fill, with warm regards from a man who knows what suffering is. From all who walk the earth our bards deserve esteem and awe, for the muse herself has taught them paths of song. She loves the breed of harpers. We're going to pause there and answer another question. <laughs> 